Good morning. I'm um, going to uh, alter um, stand, uh, a lamp, table lamp today. I found this um, table lamp um, in a charity shop. As I was passing by, I thought I would just have a quick look, and um, and then I saw this lamp uh, up at a corner on a shelf, and. Um, and I quite like it, uh, so I I bought it back, and uh, I'm decided I'm going to alter it. And so now I've taken the lampshade off, and um, I'm going to take apart this outer layer of fabric. And um, as you can see, I've already taken this uh, bit of um, bias tape off. Hopefully, hopefully the rest will be as easy to come off. So, um, so that's what I'm gonna do. So, yeah. So that is um, what I'm gonna do first. Right. So, luckily there is. I suppose I. Um, probably didn't need to, but I wanted to, um, I didn't want it to be too, maybe too uh, thick after um, all the um, alteration and then it's going to be too dim. So, we're going to see <laughs> what it's going to be like after I uh, after I have taken all the outer layer off. Well, the reason I can um, take the outer layer off because um, there is a, a lining inside. As you can see, there's a lining. So hopefully that lining will stay intact. And um, yeah, so it be, uh, should be all right. Okay, I, uh, I've got this, um, big roll of <laughs> uh, vintage lace that I bought. I went back and bought off this lady who was closing down her vintage shop again and um, that was yesterday. Um, it's a, another lovely one that I missed uh, last time. Well, the shop is closed, as I um, told you on the video a couple of weeks back. But I I got her number, and we've been in touch, and uh, <laughs> and I just couldn't stop thinking about all the stuff that she still got. And I I um, managed to get some more lace off her, and this is a beautiful one. So. And this is how big it is. <laughs> so if anybody's interested, I'm more than happy to sell, um, uh, you know, 50 pence a, a, a yard or meter. I don't mind. Um, just let me know. But it, uh, minimum be, um, the minimum will be uh, 10 meters I'm selling because it's only five pounds. So I don't mind. And uh, just... Um, leave me a message, uh, a comment, and, uh, and then we can sort out the postage um, wherever you are. I don't mind. Um, I have uh, lots of this. So I'm going to put this all over now, over this lampshade. Hopefully you can see this. And this is Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous lace. Look at it, beautiful. Wow. So I just have to work out because of the awkward shape. So I think a bit of gathered um, gathering is required here. Right. I'm going to start by doing this bit then. Oh, I missed a bit of bias tape here. Don't want it too much, too bulky. Right. Oh, 
what you can see here. Awkward. Just thinking. Sorry. Maybe it should be easier if I go, no, I'm going to keep it as it is now, just work, uh, work downwards. Right, I'm just going to go on and, and um, finish it um, and then um, I'll come back and, and do a second row. Okay, so I finished off the first um, layer and it's not looking bad at all, I quite like it. Um, there we go, a bit awkward, so that's what I have done with a bit of a pleat uh, all around. So I'm going to carry on to cover the whole lot and then um, and we'll go from there. Hi, I'm back now. To, um, I have um, finished putting that uh, lace all around the shade and it's now completely covered. Uh, I really like it as it is, <laughs> and um, so I'm going to. What I'm going to do next is um, add something along the edge there at the top, and I found this trim, this lovely um, trim with. Um, if you can see it. A little chiffon flowers uh, in the middle in the pearl. So I thought I would put that around here and work our way down. So I will glue this on. Right. Sure, it's straight. I don't know what it's going to be like when, uh, when we put the light uh, when you put the light bulb in and switch it on. Whether it's going to be um, very dim. completely dark <laughs> but um, it will be uh, a nice piece of um, shabby ship uh, shabby chic not ship <laughs> lamp anyway on my table so we'll see I had to um, stop uh, when I finished the covering the shade just now. I had to go to work and I just come back from work and um, to continue. So. 
let's see. Let's cut that off now. Okay. Okay, now we have the um, top off, uh, on. So um, I'm thinking because that is uh, still, I can still see the fabric underneath there. I might, I'm going to put another lace around, around that bit. Um, I've got this one here, which is lovely. I like that. So, make sure it's the right one. Right. I'm thinking putting these all around. That will cover the, uh, the base trim. Right, okay, let's unwind this. And uh, work our way around again. Just, it's awkward because I can't put that shade down on the side, so I will have to work it this way. Right, this one there. Just to make sure that bit can close. I'm just going to glue along the uh, the wire bit. Okay, that's fine. As long as that is not, uh, I'm able to put this down as well. So that's fine. So, what's next? This one. This is also um, an altered um, lamp shade for a challenge. Not a challenge, sorry. Um, for Lisa's uh, craft shop uh, website, uh, sorry, Facebook page. We're doing, um, is it October? Yeah, October challenge and that is to alter a lamp shade so so this will go into the challenge right, there's a fold there so I need to stick that on I can still close it. Right. Right. Let's put this on as well. Obviously, because it's um, an awkward shape, so there will be. Some gathers uh, here and there. Right, I'll sort that out in a minute. Let's stick this on first. Right. Just make sure it's straight. Right. I need to put a bit of glue on there. There we go. It's not clear. Right.
felt there, so. Nearly there. Right. So we need there, I will cut this bit. Okay. Let's close this. Is that done? That layer down. Right, let's that layer. So we have one layer, two layers, and three, four. Right, I think that bit is fine. Actually, I can't have um, too thick a layer because then really it be um, as dim as anything when I put the light on. So let's just hope the light uh, is still going to shine through. Right, I need to put another layer there because there is another gap there. Let's see, there's another big gap. I'm not bothered about this gap because it's quite narrow. So I need one here. So let's see which one we're going to put down this time. I'm going to use this one, another lovely, uh, lovely netty one. I love it. So let's find the right side. This is the right side. So, all right. Let's start from the edge again. So this time it's gonna have to go this way, right? The glue, right? Let's go this way. Right. I'm gonna go around, and then we will do the next row. Okay, I've finished this um, another layer now with this other trim that going round. So, um, so that's all gone round. Right, so now it's getting quite full now. So, so I'm thinking maybe now the bottom here. If you can see, here we go. Do the bottom here and um, I found this another. Now, this will be a dangly, um, and it's got a really nice long dangle, so I think because I love the dangle, so I think that may go there. Yeah, I like that. Um, is it that one or show? Yeah, let's um, put this one down, I think. I don't think I need another one there. Right, this is going to be awkward. Right, this way round, it's that way. So I have to work along here. So, okay. I think the easiest thing for this one, I think, will be a Fabri-Tac, I think. That way, 
this easier for me. So gonna go right. Okay, we'll go along like that. Definitely easier. I'm gonna stick that there. I will put some more glue underneath later. So first I need to just get this trim on first. Then I'll secure it better. Afterwards. Okay, so let's get this around. Dangly straight. Right, what have we got here? Right, I've put the um, dangly trim around now, so this is what um, it looks like at the moment. Um, but I find it um, not a bit light at the bottom, so maybe another more dangly, I think, because it's a bit light, isn't it? So let me see, let me add another one in and see what it's like. Well, I found this one here. This is much uh, much fuller and is, look at it, it's beautiful. And I love the square dangles. So that would be more heavier and um, fuller. So let's see what it's gonna be like to put this over. over. Yeah, I like that. I like to see that big flowers as well coming down a bit. So I think that's quite nice. Okay. And then this one cover. Yes, I do like that. So let's put that around then. So let's see how we're going to do this. This way, that's the right way. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? Put it all around. Okay, so I will start putting this round now. Um, I think first of all, I need to uh, let's secure this this one first on there. Well, I'm going to put some glue at the moment. I haven't put any glue around this. It's, the glue is just around the edge. So I'm going to put um, secure a bit of this um, trim first and then I will put this other one over. Right, I have now put um, finished putting around this um, flower dangly um over the the first one so um now we have two layers of dangly trim um and I'm happy with that now and I feel it's yeah heavy enough um for that so now it look it's looking quite full now so I'm quite pleased with it, but I have noticed I have um, a gap there. So um, I would like to fill that in actually. And 
So I was thinking, I might not have enough of this one. Well, you can't see that one at all, so there's no good. Um, well, I've got um, this lovely butterfly dangly. Um, I think I will fill that gap in. Um, yeah, I think that's what I will do. I'll fill this gap in here. Let's move all this up. And so the right way, yeah, I will fill it in. And um, let's do that quickly. Shouldn't be too long with this. So it's just going to go around with this lovely butterfly trim. And then to, and then we are should be nearly done. Right. Finished putting this um butterfly trim all around. So um I'm happy with that now, so I think it's full enough. Um that's what it's like. Let's see if we can zoom in. So um, we've got quite a few layers, so I'm happy with that, got the layers there. Um, this is the uh, dangly bit, so what we I'm going to do next just a bit of finishing touch, um, adding some flowers. I've got these lovely um, wedding, um, well, some these flowers of a wedding dress. They're a bit squash. Where are we? Oh, sorry, I can't see. Oh, that's what they are. It's lovely um, silk. And um, that's what it's like. So it's, it looks um, so it doesn't look uh, new. So it's, you know, it will blend in nicely, I think. So I think I will put this um, uh, here and there. Right. So I'll put one here to start off. So we have one there. I'm just going to dot it about and this one um, is the same but without the leaves so I'll put one here I'm just going to go around um, randomly really put one there One there and then one here, I think. Put one there with the leaf. Yeah, that's a bit here, I think. Just looking around to see where I can turn them in. Put one here. Right, I need to go and find some more. the leaf a bit right, 
Just going to find some more. Right, sorry about that. looking around now to see the can just blend in so it's just nice so it's one with the leaves here I'm put one there oh, there's just a, a space there we go so this one there So uh, enough, I think. Um, yeah, that's enough. I'm happy with that now. Right. Um, a little bit of daisies. Is it going to be too much? Just a little bit of daisy here and there. No, I'll leave that now. I'll have some pearl trim. I would like a bit coming off here and there. So I'm going to trim some off. Just um, so we get a, I get a few of them tipping out, dangling here and there. Gonna put one here, I think. Okay, so we can see it coming down. So, right, this one will go here. Right, this is where you go. There you go. Now I've got a bit of a pearl dangling down. And then uh, and a bit here as well. Yep. Okay, there's another then another one there. I thought with a bit of dangly coming off here and there. Giving it a bit of a texture. Is it texture? <laughs> Interest. Okay, just one more. Now I think that's fine now. So some at the bottom. Cutting three strands at a time. Um, I think three is nice. So, uh, I love this trim. It's, um, it's well. Let's see where else we've got one there. 
So we need one here. So we need one here. And um, what we got there? Let's do one. Pipping out there. Right, and then I need, let's see, they might get one here as well. Because the base is a bit broader, so, so they need more. Otherwise, there'll be uh, the space will be a lot wider. There we go. So now I need one here. I've got a flower there, so let's do one under the flower. the flower. Mm, oops. So let's do one. Do one here again under the uh, flower again. here and put one there put a thin one I think right. one under there okay yes I'm happy with that I'm very happy with that so um hmm. yeah let's um add some dangly at the bottom as well coming off right at the edge right okay that's what I'll put one goes there. I've got one pipping out. Let's do another one there. Okay, so now I've got the pearl trim drops um, tucked in here and there and I am happy with this now. So um, I will uh, do the base next and um, see what it's like when it's all uh, finished. 